to another episode of the Gas Mask Guys, and today we're going to be looking at the GP5 Gas Mask and some of its derivatives. So yeah, so basic's basic. I'll bring up the point that I noticed that I have never done a GP5 video solely based on information about the GP5 or any of its other um, types of masks, such as the TF1 we have here and an older version GP5. But yeah, well, here I go. Basically, for this video today, I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of this mask and maybe a brief overview on the, the era it was produced for. Now, as you can see, I have the original. This was my second gas mask, my second GP5. I've had it since 2011, so it is now a five-year-old mask. It's half a decade old, and it's still going strong. I don't use it anymore because it smells like garbage. And I have cleaned it out, but that smell is the rubber itself. So I can't wear it. Other people can wear it, but I can't because I have an allergy to certain smells or something like that. Here is what it would look like if it was brand new. So exact same type of mask, just slightly different. And then, of course, TF1, just for scale. We're going to go over the reason why we have them. But, yeah. So we'll go into the cons first. I'm going to play this down just for a bit. I'm not going to hit these masks too hard. There's some pretty good masks. So the biggest con of this mask is it's clunky. It's it's a bulky design. Simply because, uh, let's say you had a filter or a hose attached here, you're going to be bumping around quite a bit because the filter is in front of you. Now, that being by itself is not really too much of a con, but some people don't like it, so I can see it being a con. Second of all, the sealing systems are easy to muck up. Now, there's two, there's a double sealing system, but the outer one always screws up. So as you can see, this one has bent out of place, doesn't provide any seal anymore. But there's an internal piece, uh, I think you saw it in another video, when I was replacing the MM1 piece onto the F3B, FM3B or something like that. And uh, yeah, that part keeps it sealed. Now another thing I might as well bring up too, they rust. Because it's made of metal, you would only expect this, it rusts in a uh, tropical country such as Australia. So, and rust, it's not bad, you can breathe it in, it won't kill you, but you can cut yourself on it on accident, and it can be bad. So, you need to be careful what you're dealing with. Um, an Archon is it cracks pretty easily. So, after five years, actually, uh, after five years, of use. Last time we used this one was 2015, very late 2015 for a video. Um, there's cracks forming all along here. You can't see because my video doesn't have that much definition. Cracks forming here. And that's simply because uh, these masks are built with really cheap rubber that degrade really easily. So it's quite interesting how that works. But yeah. Now let's go into the pros of these masks. Now I'm going to show you the age of each mask. So this one was uh, made in 1977. This one was made in 1973. No, 1978. Sorry. 1978. I have a 1973 one somewhere else. As you can see, complete different factory. We'll look at those markings just quickly. If I can get some focus on them. There we go. And here's the other one. Okay, can't really see that that well, but that's okay. Pros of this mask is it's cheap. That is the biggest pro of this mask. It's cheap. Um, it's durable. Like This one survived five years of my shit, pretty much. This thing went through hell and back and will still work. Though, as you can see, there's cracking in the rubber. you got to be careful of that. So this one could still work, but I'm going to keep it stored. Um, another thing that I might as well bring up. So yes, it can take all the crap you give it. Durable, cheap. No one's going to miss them if you break one. So let's say you broke a GP5, no one's going to miss one because they are so uh, numerable. There are millions out there. They're basically, like I said before, the Russian AK-47 of gas masks. Like, they are, there are millions of them produced. They are everywhere in different forms, denominations, etc. And what's another pro? Um, pro is it takes any 40mm filter. So let's say, here's a GP7 filter. It'll take any Russian 40 mil. It will take the S10 40 mil. It'll take any 40 millimeter filter. Uh, but the issue um, you will find is with NATO filters, it's harder to screw in. 
Russians designed it that way so they couldn't reuse their masks, but with enough force, it'll work. So, yeah. Another thing, they still work. They have good seal. Um, it's a gas mask. Obviously, it's still a usable one. You can find them in brand new condition still. Even dirty ones usually still work because, I don't know, I trust these masks. Now, I wouldn't use one simply because um, there's some design flaws, like it can break seal easy if you don't take care of the mask. Other than that, it's really good. It's a good mask to have, and I would highly suggest it if you can find them. Now, let's go on to uh, another thing, too. The good thing about GB5 is there are millions of copies of them. So, as you can see, I have the TF1 here. It's a Chinese copy of the GP5, and it's a so much better mask than the GP5 itself. Because, um, one, it's more comfortable. Two, it's it's got bigger eyepieces, so you can see a bit more. Three, plastic um, intake exhale, so it will not rust, and it's very hard to break. You can attach any sort of 40 mil with no issue onto the mask. Um, exact same technology on the inside. So, exact same um, intake exhale type. Let's take a look at the Russian. Let's see, look, the exact same, basically, with minor changes. Um, the only difference between the TF1 and the GP5 is it will not take anti-fog lenses. Um, I might do a video on that, but it's just simply not designed for that. So, yeah, it's more, this is more industrial mask. This one's more of a protection mask. So... Yeah, anyway, that's a quite quick video on the GP5. I'm going to do more videos on gas masks like this from now on. Because I thought, you know, not many people do videos like this. And I thought, hey, let's just do it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.